Oh, my heart is. A very, very good evening to you. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. It's just me, Scotty McClue. And I thought I'd pop up and say hi to every single one of you. And why not? I say, Thursday night, nothing ever gets past me. I spot all these things, you see. And the time is just coming up to five minutes to 10 o'clock. We've got a bit held up tonight, but we're with you now. And uh, that's what it's all about. Dinky do, I say. There's the lovely Maria Knight has joined us. Maria, good evening to you. And what can I say but thank you again. You'll notice the picture is a lot sharper with the new camera. How good is that? <laughs> dinky do, dinky do, absolutely. And dinky do to you. Hi from Coles Nochten. Ah, we like Coles Nochten. Lovely to have you with us. And a dinky do to you. Welcome, welcome, I say, from Scotty McClue. First lord of the internet, hashtag Floatai. If you're scrolling, stop scrolling now. Hello from Kilsyth, Abdul. Lovely to have you with us in Kilsyth. There used to be a fantastic pipe band called Kilsyth Colliery. I think the clue was in the name. So there we are. That's what it's all about. There's a Sykes, who is obviously a wee troll, so I just sent him in this one. Bye-bye, Sykes. Fantastic stuff. Hi from Barrow. Barrow in Furness. I know it so well. Do you know Dalton in Furness? Do you know Walney Island? Do you know Alverston? Fantastic. Hello from Windsor. I love Windsor, Luke. Fantastic. If you go down to the town, uh, just at the gates to the Great Park, you'll see a pub. I think it's called the Prince Harry now. And that used to be the Two Tons. And I've had many a nice lunch in the Two Tons. I do indeed, says Alfie. There you go, Alfie, you see. How are you, Scotty? Thank you, do. Lenzok, lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know a lot of you will be getting ready to go to your bed. But that's no reason not to listen to Scotty McClue. And we're live on TikTok just for you. Hello, Sir Scotty. Hello, Kizzy John. How are you? Hello from the Royal Kingdom of New York. Ed McDuffrey, you suit a royal title. You're a king in New York. NYC. Fantastic. I'm already in bed. Lenzok, I'm not surprised. There we are. I'm not, actually. I'm up and about. But what's wrong with that, I say? <laughs> Scotty, uh, before you sleep, is always entertaining. I thank you very much. Any beer? That's what it's all about. Scotty, it was 48 Celsius in AZ today in Arizona. 48 Celsius. Have you noticed that in broadcasting, they never say it properly. They call it Celsius. <laughs> Celsius is the way to pronounce it. There we are. What have you been doing today, Scotty? Very, very, very busy day today, Lenzok. But met so many wonderful people. And this is the story of my life. Uh, you know, the gift that keeps on giving. Thank you, do, Scotty. Have you been my good friend? I love these pop-ups. We love doing the pop-ups with you, Maria, because uh, I think they're very good for everyone. And you have added so much grace and so much generosity and so much kindness and uh, also so much wonderment at just being you. That's the really important thing because, as we know, the only true wealth is life. But I do have to thank you for the quality of tonight's picture. <laughs> I'll tell you more about it. So there we are. Uh, absolutely amazing, Scotty. Hope you never need to thank me. Sorry, that's absolutely amazing, Scotty. You never need to thank me. I give what I can to help. Well, Maria, if you knew just how much help your gift was, you would just grin from the tip of your toes to the top of your beautiful head. All right. So there you are, the man and the myth. Thank you, know, the man, the myth, and the legend, Bobby. Good afternoon, my man. How's today? Sabat, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, just having a wee chat with the lovely Maria Knight there, who has all but sponsored McClue. Uh, next time you're in Windsor, give me a shout. I'll get you into the castle. Fantastic look. I know the castle well, actually, but I haven't been since the fire. Yeah? Uh, Scotty, you should do some guest chats. I know I should, Lenzok. You're absolutely correct. Love you, Scotty. Thank you, Mike. Very kind of you. Uh, 
Scotty, I've had the pleasure of running into you again. Lots of love. Not at all, Toby. The pleasure is all mine. A privilege. Never a chore, I say to you. Dinky-doo, everybody. Hello from New York. We love you in New York, Patrick. Dinky-doo. Do you know St. Patrick's Cathedral, New York? Oh, there's a lovely Maria Knight sending me fireballs from Fireball XR5. Sent me 10 beautiful fireballs. Thank you, Maria. I've got a history exam, Scotty. Worried about it? Rowan, please never, ever, ever, ever worry. We don't stress and we don't worry. You know your history. You get your dates right in your head. You think what else was going on around the world. Keep everything in context. When Buns was writing in the 1780s, I say to students I have for literature, I'll say to them, what else was going on in Europe? And they think, mm, I say France. Oh, the French Revolution. Yes, 1789. And the 14th of July, Le 4 Juillet, Bastille Day. Morning, Duke of Dundee. So please never worry about your history, Sam. Go in and enjoy it and love being you and write everything you know in your wonderful brain. And you will be so successful. But do not worry. What time is it in Scotland? It's 2.30 p.m. here in Sacramento. So, Aaron, you're watching me in the middle of the afternoon in Sacramento. I love it. I thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, now, what time is it here? It's one minute past 10 o'clock in the evening. <laughs> Love you, Scotty. Can I get a shout out? You can, Mike. There we are. Thank you, Maria, for your beautiful fireballs. Scotty, how much spare storage do you have available in your garage? What are you thinking, Graham? Have you have you found a Rover 90? A 105S, a 105R. Have you ever come across a Morris Oxford Manumatic? Woo! Uh, hello, I'm Scotty. Hope you've had a good week from Paddy in Liverpool. I'll read this properly. Hello, I'm Scotty. Hope you've had a good week from Paddy in Liverpool. Paddy, we love the bones of you. Fantastic. That's great. Um, now, what have we got, Scotty? I can get into watch and lock up Ceremony of the Crown Jewels for free. Ah, yes, indeed. Hello, I'm Scotty. Hope you've had a good week. Yes, indeed. Scotty, have you ever installed a dishwasher? Now, did I install it or did the money from the shoppy install it? I can't just quite remember because it's so long since it was installed. It's been there for 20 years and it needs replacing. I don't really use it much now. Scotty, how do you relight a pilot light? It will relight itself, Graham. If it's a gas boiler, do not go in there ferreting about. That is dangerous for you. Because in there you also have the combustion chamber. And you have gas valves. So there you are. So if the pilot light is not coming on, it's maybe not coming on for a reason. Because perhaps the boiler is needing service. Now, I am no gas fitter, guys, but am I right or am I right? Come on, all you corgi guys, get on. There we are. So there we go. So I wouldn't be rushing to relight a pilot light. All right. Scotty, have you ever buried a dead pet? Yes. Goldie the goldfish died in 1965. Hammy the hamster died in... Probably 66. No, Charlie the hamster died in 65. So 65 was an anus horribilis for McClue's pets. There you are. But yes, I, I have. Um, our dogs were buried in the garden, but I haven't buried a dog. Both my dogs were cremated. Who's your favorite character from Only Fools and Horses? Every single one of them. I like Uncle Albert. You know, and I like Delt, and I like Rodney, and I like Trigger. <laughs> they're all they're all brilliant characters, beautifully drawn. Dinky do from Warsaw. Ah, I am Pan McClue in Warsaw. 
Good evening, buddy. Just want to say you're a legend. Someone I think a lot of people should look up to. Chris, you say lovely things. Thank you. You're very, very kind. Respect and reverence to you. Disco Pete Dinky Do. I've been arguing on another social media platform and uh, I've been arguing about the nationalists will need to remember they're keeping the Queen as our head of state. And of course, some of them are a little bit bolshy, which doesn't bode well for independence, the bolshies. Um, but I've been explaining and I've been educating them as much as I possibly can. And I think that is very, very important. And I've also, one of them came on and said, I bow to nobody. I said, well, I bow to everybody out of reverence and respect. All right, not a problem. Good evening, Scotty. Wow, how is it going? Scotty, have you ever passed a Saab on an A-road? I've driven a Saab on an A-road. Beautiful, beautiful thing. You see, Saab used to make aircraft in Sweden, Svenska, uh, Volvo and Saab, fantastic motor cars. My father used to run Volvos. There we are. Good evening from the Isle of Man. We love you, Jonathan, in the Isle of Man. Are you in Douglas? Are you in Peel? Are you in uh, Castle Bay? Are you uh, up by the big wheel? Uh, are you in Tinwald? <laughs> are you at the House of Keys? Are you singing Ellen Vannon? Good evening, Isle of Man. Do you remember City and Sweep? Very, very well. Sweep spoke. Uh, Sooty. Sooty just whispered. And I remember Santa brought me a City puppet. A glove puppet of City. Fantastic merch for, uh, for Harry Corbett. Do you have a filter on? Not to my knowledge, but somebody told me that they put filters on you. I don't know. Uh, I certainly don't, to my knowledge. This is how I look, you know. Hello. Hello, luxury cars. Dinky do from Scotty McClure. We love having you with us. Uh, no, Callum, I'll need to put you down the swanee for mentioning the C word. Bye-bye, Callum. There he goes. Uh, so there we go. You know never to come on and talk about the lady's name beginning with C. Scotty, have you ever taken antibiotics? Uh, about twice, but I'm very, very allergic to the penicillin. They're a very bad drug reaction, uh, you know, and you can't really stop them but if they're reacting so badly. Uh, Scotty, I have my last mock exam tomorrow. It's geography. Well, as long as you can find yourself to the exam room, I think you'll be outstanding and you will pass. Uh, is it bedtime for you, Scotty? In a wee while, Paul, yes. Yes, I'll put my jammers on. Um, have you ever come across Joe? Uh, Callum, I've come across one or two, yes. You have friends in Warsaw. Bank, that is so beautiful. I love the sound of Warsaw. I love the Warsaw Concerto. Wonderful. The Polish people are beautiful. Scotty, do you still have your wisdom teeth? Yeah, I'm going to get them in next week. Uh, can you say, ooh, Callum's away. Woo, Callum, you're a bad and What a bad, bad boy. He's gone. Right, that's Callum away doing the swanny. Fantastic. Now, uh, Scotty, uh, Scotty La, come on, you can do better than that to say La at the end of a sentence, La. Okay, Paddy La, we'll say we'll do what we can, La. Big game tomorrow for us, La's. I'll tell you that. Oh, not off. Not off. Right, Scotty, I need to get some sleep. Lens up. You must get some sleep. You're a very, very hardworking man. Come on. Uh, Scotty, where do all these stolen catalytic converters go? Why would you steal a catalytic converter? The cat. Have a good evening, Scotty, and dinky do. How do you pronounce your name? McClue. McClue. Scotty, do you have a gas certificate in safety? No, 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 I don't, Jonathan. I was just sort of going off the top of my head. Um, was it any good? Are you a gas fitter? Hello, Scotty, my dear friend. Thank you, do, William. Lovely to have you with us. Hello from Ireland. Gamers, we love you from Ireland. Top of the evening to you now. Has anybody followed me here? I bet you haven't. 
I bet the whole flim the whole flaming lot of you haven't even bothered to follow me. Tot 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 tot. Are you still on nation? Uh, no, no, I gave it up about a year ago. Well, they gave me up. They wanted to put on love songs. So I thought, fair enough. Uh, are you married? Don't be ridiculous. Who would have me? Now, have you done something to the sound as well as the lighting, Scotty? Is the sound better, Maria? Do tell me. Uh, can I can I cut back on the chat? There we are. Uh, Disco Pete has sent me 13 beautiful TikToks. So tell me what you think, Maria. Evening, Scotty. Evening, Disco Pete. Scotty, how are you doing tonight? Geodog, how lovely to have you with us. Welcome, 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 sir. Lovely to have you with us. What a privilege. I salute you, Geodog. Fantastic. Scotty, what's a good resource to use to find my lineage from the Isle of Mull? Uh, well, I would suggest get the name of the families, the maternal and the paternal, get the names together, and then uh, look up in one of these websites that deals with ancestors, hint, hint, uh, deals with that. Look up a website that deals with it. Now, they will take some pennies off you, but it should be quite reasonable, and they'll allow you a certain amount of looking. Now, you had all these... Um, what do they call them when you when you get the big survey on? Ooh, I'll just have a bit of that. A census. There was a census going on in Bethlehem the night Jesus was born. And then you've had your census every so many years. And there'll be one from 1801. And that will start to give you who great, 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 great grandpa and grandma was. So if you can get the names, Mull's quite good for names. There's a lot of names still in Mull that were originally in Mull. Names like Macquarie, you know, that sort of thing. So have a look at that and uh, get working back and you'll find it and it'll be fascinating. What, uh, do you know what town, what village is it Salon? Is it Tobin Mori? You know, I mean, whereabouts are we talking? Are we talking? Um, are we talking Finnefort? Are we talking um, Dervig? Are we talking Calgary? You know, that might be a good one to start. So obviously, people went from Mull to Canada. Uh, which one is worse, Margaret Thatcher or the Antichrist? Well, I don't know the Antichrist. So I can't comment on him or her. But uh, Thatcher, she was a wonderful politician, but she sucked the life out of Scotland and the north and uh, took all the money down south. Who have we got here? Uh, catalytic converters contain platinum. That's why a uh, geodog. Now, is platinum mined in South Africa? Could I ask geodog? Follow us, guys. Robert, you are such a hero. Robert has done the decent thing and followed Scotty McClue. Is that not beautiful? Everybody should follow suit. Follow the followers. Lahoop says the DUP are in the mud, Scotty. Well, we shall see. It sounds a little bit fragmented. You see, I think this Brexit thing has flung the North under a bus. I used to love steam engines and combines. Now just clear the air. I'm an extractor fan. Very good, Thunderfly. I see what you just did there. Excellent stuff. I saw some rapscallions up the apples and pears, making a loud ruckus. Ah, Robinson the rapscallions. Where are you from? Says Jordan. I am from TikTok via Scotland. Do a flip. Right, here we go. Are you ready? Now watch this. This is not for the faint-hearted. No! Oh! Woo! The blood rushes to your head when you do that, you know. I have to say top bye. Uh, thank you, love. I have only one name and one town. Excellent. Well, you will do very, very well, I can tell you. I probably know your relatives myself. I restored a CJ3A 1946 Willie's Jeep. She gets to 80 kilometers 
per hour. What's that about 60 eventually? Yes, they weren't built for speed. My father knew them very, very well because he drove them and he drove the major. And my father was a man that wasn't very good with tactility. And um, I can I can remember the major, my father had gone, he was touching 40. I think the speedo does that, doesn't it? And he was touching 40 in the Willie's Jeep. And the major was standing up, holding on to the, 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 the front seat. And he poked my father with his pacing stick. He poked my father, not his pacing stick, his major stick. And he poked my father and he said, do 37 and a half, convoy speed. And my father slammed on and the major went A over T and ended up right upside down in the footwell. Anyway, apparently he unrolled himself, put on his service cap and he said to my father, <clears throat> my fault, I think. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Now that's a good army officer. I'll tell you that because he would have known that the old man slammed on. They took my job. Yes, you'll get another one, Eddie. Where are you from, Mrs. Jordan? I told you, Scotland. Lovely to have you with us. Dick, you just got to be waiting all day for my hashtag float eye friend to come on. Hashtag shakaroni. Thank you very much. I find out one of my ancestors was George Villers, the first Duke of Buckingham. Now, I don't know if he had debts or whatever the setup was, but Buckingham Palace was built by him, wasn't it? And it was sold to the royal family for £5,000. Now, I would offer them 6000 for Buckingham Palace, even without a survey. I think it'd be worth that. <laughs> Ever since Brexit, the DUP have gone mad taking their anger out of Sinn Féin. You can't take your anger out of Sinn Féin. They might take the anger out of Sinn Féin. That would be good, wouldn't it, Lahoub? How Scottish is my last name? Let me see it. Oh, very Scottish, Jordan. Yes, there was a very famous lord called Lord Maclay, Baron Maclay. Shipping, shipping, you see. Stayed in Kilmacomb, Jack McLeay, wonderful people, nice family, the McLeays. Uh, GB News has been off to a shaky start, riddled with technical difficulties. Yes, but also MSN, it's had some very good content. And I know that Andrew's show uh, outstripped the competition. So if they keep it going, and maybe if they got a Scotty McLeay phone in at night, you never know. Uh, so we shall see what's what. Will you be supporting the national team tomorrow? Uh, I will, Dommel, yes. Uh, are the cheeky gibbons thieving the pineapple population? Again, good sir, absolutely. We love the gibbons. Did you see the little one I sent round tonight? I think I put it on Instagram. Absolutely gorgeous. Does pineapple belong in a pizza, Scotty? Not from my point of view, but ham and pineapple. We used to have gammon steaks and a slice of pineapple with them. Yep, that was the thing. Gammon and pineapple. Ham and pineapple. Maria Knight has sent me 10 beautiful placards. Thank you, Maria. You are such an angel. Who's that in the picture behind you? Says Elish. That's Scotty McClure. And Lord Reith, the Labrador. What a gorgeous dog he was. So there we are. Very Scottish sonny. No, you're beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, who have we got here? Attila Slovakia FIFA Kova. <laughs> A wee bit of a made-up name there, I think. Fantastic. Uh, now, we've dealt with that. I like your hat. We're all down in London. No Scotland, no party. Kieran, don't get lifted, though. Do your social distancing. Scotty, do you like a fizzy drink? I'm not mad on it, Chacarone, you know. I, I can take a wee iron brew or a cream soda, you know, but I'll tell you what I used to love. I used to go into the cafe and you ordered an ice cream soda and it was a big glass of American cream soda with a straw and two huge scoops of ice cream floating in it. And it was wow. And you got a spoon and a straw. 
Uh, oh, wow, I wonder what it's worth now. What, the uh, the ice cream soda? Oh, about the same. I think there were two and thruppins. They were quite expensive. <laughs> One and six, something like that. And uh, what's Buckingham Palace worth now? Priceless. Imagine an hotel, the Buckingham House Hotel in SW1. The only trouble is I would imagine they'll have got the plumbing sorted out, but in the 1700s, there was an open sewer under the kitchen and the place stank to high heaven. Thoughts on the Super League? Well, Doctor, everybody poo-pooed it, but would it be good? Would it be a good kickstart for the top-end football? Uh, who have we got here? Geodog says the Bushveld Ignatius Complex contains the biggest chromite and platinum deposits in the world. Geodog, I'm not as daft as I look now, am I? I'm not just an athlete. I am a black belt in karaoke and all that stuff. And I was pretty sure that there was uh, platinum and chromite will be chromium. Is that they'll make chromium from chromite, am I right? There we are, and of course, very, very good for things and platinum. Uh, is there not a lot of platinum in the electronics industry? Hello, shout me out, says Elisha. I shall do. My last name is McLean. That's the name I'm researching. Now, the way you've spelt it, there are different spellings. Are you in America? Yeah? Uh, if you're in America, McLean obviously is one way of spelling. I would um, put to you this one, and another one is McLean in America. But I would put to you this one, M-A-C-L-E-A-N, right, McLean. Now, McLean is the biggest name in Mull. The McLeans are massive. And when you're crossing on the ferry from Oban to Mull, you will see on a promontory, see what I just did there, how good is that? A promontory, you'll see a beautiful, very romantic castle. That's Duart Castle. That's the home of the Macleans. And when I was younger, Charles Maclean, Chips, everybody loved him. He was a lovely, lovely man. Chips Maclean, who organized Charles and Diana's wedding as Lord Chamberlain. And when I first met him, he was chief scout, lovely guy, and a very, very nice family, and Lady McLean, his wife, very down-to-earth, warm people. <coughs> and um, they're Duart Castle. Now, that's the chief of the clan, McLean. So if you're a McLean from Mull, but there's different places. There's McLean of Duart. There's McLean of Loch Bui which is just along from Duart. There's, I think, is there a McLean of Ardgour? Am I right? Guys, all you McLeans, come and tell me if I've got this right. So there's also McLean of Penny Cross. So there's Penny Cross and Penny Gale in Mull, down towards the Iona side. So you could, you know, it's a huge... Huge name in Mull. Find out which family. Are you a McLean of Duart? Are you a McLean of McLean, which is the Chiefs? Are you a McLean of Loch Bui? Are you a McLean of um, Ardgour? And there's a lovely Scottish song that goes, <coughs> Come o'er the stream, Charlie, dear Charlie, dear Charlie. Come o'er the stream, Charlie, and dine we, McLean. You see? So there's that sort of stuff. So have a good look. You're definitely on a winner there. You'll get stacks of information. And Duart Castle, D-U-A-R-T. D-U-A-R-T. Yeah, Duart Castle. <coughs> and Charles McLean's grandfather died in 1911, old Hector, Hector Fitzroy McLean. And Hector uh, restored Duart Castle. And I think he was about 100. So if he died in 1911, he would have been born about 1811, if he was 100, something like that. I, I might be very slightly out in my figures, 
But there's your background to the Maclean. So Duart was a ruin. Uh, and a Maclean born in 1811 fully restored it and opened it, fully restored castle in 1911. And you see it in movies and everything. The wonderful Alistair Maclean movie called When Eight Bells Toll. And Duart Castle features in that because it's a very romantic castle. Very nice. <clears throat> and look up Sir Charles Fitzroy Maclean, you know. Um, I remember my mother telling me she went through to the Thistle service in St. Giles in Edinburgh, and there was two prominent Scots being made knights of the Thistle at the Thistle Chapel. And one was John Reith of the BBC, and the other was Charles Maclean. Fantastic. And I remember attending the Edinburgh Tattoo, and Charles Maclean was the chieftain who was taking the salute in his green velvet doublet. Looked very, very smart because he was a Scots guardsman, you see. He was an Etonian and a Scots guardsman. And um, the official car was there to pick him up. And my mother was waiting to have a word with him. And a policeman said to my mother, because he was obviously anxious about the security aspect, he said, excuse me, can I ask what you're... You're hanging about here for what you're waiting for. Uh, yes, of course you can. We're waiting to see Lord Maclean and perhaps have a word with him. And uh, the, the policeman said, may I ask why? And my mother said, yes, because he's from Mull. <laughs> she was great. She was great fun. Uh, Dinky do, Scotty, absolutely. Sure. Has joined us. The dinkiest of news is Shekin Rooney. Scotty from the Brox Bond crew. I have a lab. Yes, indeed, Elisha. They're beautiful dogs. Hi, Scotty from Ilkley. One of my hats came from Ilkley. So I wasn't going on Ilkley Moor. Bat hat. On Ilkley Moor, bat hat. Fantastic. Uh, now, who have we got here? Thank you for coming, Shark. Thank you for your lovely gift box, good for. Uh, do you enjoy lager? I don't drink alcohol at all now. Are you ready for the match tomorrow? Yes. Uh, there we are. Who have we got here? Scotty the athlete. What sport? Um, karaoke. Yes, I'm a black belt. Buckingham Palace was built between 1705 and 1829. George Villiers was assassinated in 1628. So it must have been maybe his grandson. So it might have been the third Duke of Buckingham or something like that. Check it out. Who was it built for? Do the stuff for me. Do tell. Yes, sir. Platinum per gram is more expensive than gold. Wow. Geodog, you are some man. Uh, yes, I was sure the Mac did change. I found. Yes. So get into that. But listen. I've given you a good steer there, good. Look all that up on the internet before you part with a penny. Yes. Uh, can you tell me a cool fact about the city of Lancaster? I can. Up above the city of Lancaster, you'll see a huge, big um, monument. And that monument is to, I think, it's the Ashton Monument. And I think it was Sir William Ashton who was a big ship owner. Yes, and it's a lovely thing to see. You can see it from the motorway, the Ashton Monument. There's a fact about Lancaster for you. Do you think you could name every place in Scotland? Uh, yes, James Mann, I would certainly have a go. There we are. That's not to say I would get them all. Scotty, is the son named Moore? by any chance related to Scotland? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, you can look up the burial of Sir John Moore at Corana. Yes, not a drum was beat, not a funeral note, as his corpse to the rampart we hurried. Yes, and that was that. And they left him alone with his glory. He had no shroud, he had his martial cloak around him. The burial of Sir John Moore at Carana during the Peninsular Wars with Spain. But yes, Moore, uh, there's a good Scottish relationship with that one. 
Do you think you could name it? Well, I, I will have a go. So fantastic. I found my grandmother came from Duart recently. Yes. Well, there you are. You might be a Scottish aristocrat. Fantastic. Uh, he, he, I see a hair. Yes. There's a hair just poking out the back there. Scotty, a wee shout out to Colin and the boys. Absolutely brugnoise. Nice hat. Uh, David O'Shea rented the land. Poor old Patsy has taken it bad. Right, Josie. Uh, which do you like better, Scotty? Ireland scenery or England scenery? It's not a question of better. They're just different. They're absolutely both stunning. Beautiful. Be England is stunning. Scotland's stunning. Did you watch Andy Murray? Uh, fantastic. Have you watched the video, the Scotty video on TikTok about Andy Murray there? Yes, the whole of the world's media filming him. And some fan shouts out from the crowd in Washington, D.C. Dinky do, Andy, from Scotty McClure. Amazing. Have a listen. Thank you for the serenade. Not at all. Uh, do you even have a pin on it? Yes, there it is there. See? Very, very nice. Uh, plenty of deer around there, Scotty. Oh, yes. Uh, now, who have we got here? Uh, but past my grandmother born in Duart in 1912. I have nothing more to go on from there. Still searching. Well, you see, grandmother would be there when the castle. Now, Charles Chips McLean, I think, was born in 1916. So that was after Sir Hector had died. It's nice to see you. Do you support Black Lives Matter? Well, everybody does. What a silly question. Yes, we were all black at one time. Evening there, Scotty. Hope all's well, son. I'm watching the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yes, indeed. And where do I come in? Big Roddy, an update. Big Roddy has come out and he's casting. He's casting his petals. Nice story. Have you got the salmon? No, premium. Did you know that the Fairborn Sykes commando knife was taken from the Scottish duck? Well, that would make sense because the founder of the commandos was Lord Lovett. Shimmy, love it. Shimmy Fraser, Simon Fraser, big handsome guy. And he founded the Commandos, I think it was 1942. We had it here first, Scotty, as a black belt at karaoke. Sha. Good evening, old chap. Warmest greetings from Ollie and Alex. We love you guys. Flock Doc. You're still here? Oh, she's still there. I'm falling asleep, but yes, indeed, because I'm tired. Not because of Scotty. Shah, that was so lovely of you to quantify and qualify that. <laughs> Here we go. My family used to rule Scotland. Who were they? Thank you, Scotty. Thank you, dear. Not at all. Not at all, Shakarone. We have black people in Scotland. Yes, of course we have. Yes, absolutely. Uh, do they mine anything in Mur? Where's Mur? Yes, you'll need to say more than that. Uh, Maria sent me a gift box. Maria, you're so beautifully, beautifully generous, my darling. You didn't tell me if you thought the sound was sounding better. There we are. Just pulling your leg, testing your dinky do. There we are. Now, three lions on our shot. Absolutely. And what's the punchline? <laughs> can you say hi to Michael Farley? Yes, I can. Some fan shouts out. Yep, you'll get it there. Um, who have we got here? No energy, says Shah. Can you go for a live soon, Shah? Hello, Scotty, it's me again. Ah, uh, random. We love hearing from you. Uh, tomorrow I will, says Shah. Uh, I did watch YouTube and somebody shouts out, Dinky do to Andy Murray. They do, they shout, Dinky do, Andy. Yes, indeed, let the crowd join in. You hear them going, Dinky! Good evening from Inverclip. We love Inverclip Shuggy. Shark, can you go live after Scotty? Yes. Scotty, you could never make me tired. Shark, 
You're just such an angel. The British commander names taken after the Boer commando out of respect, capital K. There was a lovely, lovely story I was telling somebody today, Geo Dog, that the commanding officer of the commandos was talking to the commanding officer, usually a British officer, of the Gurkhas. <clears throat> and you may have heard this. And the commanding officer said, I would probably say, I know your Gurkhas are pretty wonderful, but I would say my commanders could give them a run for their money, particularly when it comes to covert operations. And the commanding officer of the Gurkhas said, my men will visit your men tonight, and I would doubt you'll even see them. In the morning, the commanders stayed up all night watching like hawks. In the morning, the two commanding officers met. One said, what happened? You never came. He said, tell your men to lift their boots up and look at their souls. And he went into the barrack block and he said, you know, boots up. And there were little chalk marks on the soles of the boots put there by the Gurkhas. They'd been and gone. <laughs> I love it. <coughs> Who's winning tomorrow, Scotland or England? That's for me to know and for you to find out. If I give you the result, do you promise to look away now? You see, nobody would watch the game and we don't want that. We'd have a lot of very cross people with Scotty McClure. Hello from California and Hollywood. I'm coming to Hollywood, Linden. I'm going to get a small part in a big movie. Oh, yes. It's sounding better. It isn't as loud. Right, Maria? Maybe I'm coming down a little bit as well. Uh, who do you think's winning the news? Well, we've dealt with that. Uh, hello from Bordeaux, my friend Scotty. Viva l'Ecosse. Viva la France. Oui, oui, bonsoir. C'est good. C'est très bon. Hello, everyone. Please, if you're actually reading this, I need help for my mum's hospital bills. Lindemouth. <coughs> She's suffering from an ailment called cancer. Yes, we know. Cancer, we've heard of that. Who's winning tomorrow, Scotland and England? Uh, Commando, capital K, comprised a fighting unit moving on horseback at great speed, relying on guerrilla tactics. Aha! Geodog. My grandfather was in a regiment called the Scottish Horse. <coughs> he was at Gallipoli on horseback. I'm all for Scotland, but the confidence is minimal for tomorrow. Andrew, we need to build our confidence. I think I'll have to train the team myself. <coughs> I don't want to be in the wrong end of a Gurkha call sign. No, the Kurki, the Kukri. Is that right? Kurka. <laughs> My mom left me before I was born. Of course she did, dear. Uh, Scotty, will the jocks beat the English tomorrow? Uh, one never knows. Uh, how's your day been, Scotty? Outstanding. Hello, Scotty boy, says the, says, Rehen. Re Do you remember Pan Am air crash over Lockerbie? Yes, I was due to go to a Christmas party at the BBC that night to pick me up. And um, I said, what's the time? And he said, whatever the time was, eight o'clock or quarter past eight or something. <coughs> and I said, um, right, well, we've time for a wee cup of tea. Sit, sit, sit yourself down. So I was watching the television, big old television set, and we're sitting on the couch drinking tea. And suddenly a news flash came up on the television and said, we interrupt this program. And they told us that a plane had gone down over the town of Lockerbie and there were huge casualties. And my friend who was a journalist with the BBC turned round and went, that's a bomb. I said, do you think so? He said, oh, without, without a doubt. Isn't that interesting? So there you go. And then we went round to the BBC and of course, you know, the producer appeared right away and announced that there would be no, certainly no Christmas party. This thing was too serious. And uh, we spent time in the newsroom just watching all the reports coming in and talking to the, uh, the announcers. And everybody was just very, very muted. 
very muted. And the next day I rang Border Television to see if they were needing a hand with anything because I realised it would be chaos in the newsroom. And I was time served in the newsroom. So there we are. Um, I've seen you cycling around the streets of Port Glasgow. I was in a rush. I would have stopped to chat. Detan, absolutely. And if you have a look on the TikTok lives, you'll see me talking about the comet outside the superstore. Hello, there's something in your hat. It's a badge. The Scotty McClure badge. You never want to go without that. Who is that behind you? That's Scotty McClure and Lord Reith, the Labrador. Fantastic dink, you know. Scotty, I'm going to go now. I love visiting these lives. Uh, if you make one tomorrow, I'll join. Bye. Bye, random. My granny was on the plane. Peter, is that right? How devastating. Um, so there we go. How very devastating. Now, do you ever visit Finlayston Country Park? Lovely and a good day. Gemarella, I was the luckiest, most privileged man in the world. About 40 years ago, I knew uh, Sir Gordon, General Sir Gordon and Lady Macmillan, Marion Macmillan, and uh, they invited us in for afternoon tea in the big house. And it was a delight. It was just two of us and uh, Sir Gordon and Lady Macmillan, and we knew each other, and it was very relaxed, and we had a beautiful afternoon tea with scones, and <coughs> all homemade. And the Macmillans were two of the most interesting people, loveliest people you could ever hope to meet. Yes, the general was uh, the commanding officer of the Argyles. He was uh, came back from the First World War for being too brave. He was sort of going over the top with the revolver and everything. And he was knighted three times, Gordon Macmillan. Lovely, lovely man. Big, distinguished gent, you know. And uh, so I know Finlayston very well. The Roddy Denvins will all be out. Oh, it'll be lovely. There we go. And um, Lady Macmillan, Marion's father, was a cavalry general. General Blixton Houston. Fantastic. Hello, everybody. Who have we got here? You are the best, Scotty. I thank you. Do you like Pink Floyd? <coughs> I do indeed. Where did you get your wig? Well, the police stopped me. They said, has your hat been checked? The Lockerbie incident was an appalling example of senseless terrorism. Absolutely geodog. There's never every sample of terrorism is appalling. There's never, ever, ever any excuse for terrorism. You know what I mean? Innocent people. Uh, did you ever have uh, the Happy Meal? Yes, 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 absolutely. Who have we got here? Um, who do you think will win the Euros? This is where we came in. I'm not going to say. <coughs> you looking forward to the match? Oh, yes. Right, uh, I think I'll play you a tune on the squeeze box and push off because we're quite late tonight with the pop-up. What about, oh, can I wear a baron's ear? Would you like that one? How do you feel about Dundee? I adore it. It's a beautiful place. <coughs> the Kleppy Road. In fact, I'll give you a, a song about Dundee, will I? Dundee. <laughs> you can't be that. What a lovely way to finish up tonight's live. Right. Hello, everybody. Dinky Doo. Thank you for following. Have a look at every single video. We'll catch up at some point tomorrow. I probably won't stream during the football. 
Um, that might be bad for the football, uh, although it would be very good for Scotty McClue. Thoughts on Airy Neve? Airy Neve was an absolute gent. Lovely, lovely man. He got a home run from Colditz. And then these murdering cowards killed him for no reason. There we are, ridiculous, yes. So-called British people killing a hero, a war hero, who served his country. I don't know. Anyway, there we are. You've got to be a farmer. I'm a very good mortal farmer. Beasts and crops, I say. Right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir. And a cheery o. Lovely being with you tonight. Thank you so much, Maria Knight. Thank you so much for your ten beautiful good nights. You are such an angel. Nice eyes, by the way. I thank you very, very much. Very kind of you. And uh, thank you for sending me all these lovely gifts, Maria, and all you other beautifully generous people. Uh, good luck for Scotland for tomorrow for the Euros. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Stay fabulous, my darlings. Have a lovely night. Dinky-doo. ta la -las.